I was so freaking pumped to be out lobster diving again. It had almost been 9 months since I last caught one, but I was on a mission to catch some because I literally didn't pack any food for dinner that night. But the first hole I checked, there were 3 small crays and one of them might have been legal, but I knew there were probably big ones out there, so I left them and moved on. The next hole I checked, there were a couple more crays and at this point I was already so excited, so I decided to have a crack at one. So I went in slowly and boom, I got it, but unfortunately it was a bit too small. I managed to find another cray that would have been legal, so I whipped out the snare, but the cray was just so skittish and once it felt the snare, it backed right up in its hole. It was too deep in and I really didn't want to risk getting stuck in there trying to get it out, so I left it for another day. So all the crays I was seeing were pretty small, so I decided to swim out a bit deeper to an outer reef in search for some bigger ones. And oh man, did it pay off. I came across an absolute monster of a cray. I didn't even think I need to explain what happened next. Just sit back and enjoy. I just spotted a monster cray. Yet again, catch my breath. I hope you're going to go down and get this one. So after having my moment with the cray, Christian went down to try and get the other cray out of the same ledge, but it had backed up real deep. The only way we could reach it was by using the snare, so Christian had a couple attempts trying to get it out, but the cray was just too deep in, and the sand was getting all stirred up and we just couldn't see anything at all. So we decided to move on. After looking around for a while, I came across another solid cray. So I went back down to try and figure out how I would get it out as it was in a pretty awkward hole. But I could see that it wasn't that deep, which meant it didn't have much room to back up into. So I did my breathe up and went down to get it. But unfortunately, on the way down, my GoPro died. But thankfully, Christian was filming. Anyway, I managed to get a good grip on the base of its horns. But that was only the first step to getting it out, because the cray immediately wedged itself into the hole, using its legs and angling its spikes on its carapace forward, really just locking itself in there. The hole was really small as well, and I didn't have much space at all to move my hand around in order to try and wiggle it out. But it just wasn't budging one bit. I had such a good grip on the cray and really didn't want to let it go, but I could feel the CO2 really building up in my lungs now and knew that no cray was worth my life, so I let go of it and headed to the surface. I wasn't going to give up though. I went down again and saw that it was at the very back of its hole and had nowhere to go, so I reached all the way in and grabbed onto its horns again, this time really trying to wriggle it out. In the past, I'd heard of stories and seen videos of crays that had really wedged themselves in, but this was the first time I truly experienced how strong they really were, because no matter how hard I was pulling, it wasn't budging at all, and in the process of trying to get it out, I accidentally pulled off one of its horns. Anyway, I went down again, and managed to get more than I bargained for. Check it out. Oh, 
So octopuses are known to regularly eat crayfish. They do this by injecting a toxin into the crayfish, paralyzing it, and also turning its flesh into mush, allowing it to suck it right out. Oh, do the bite! Do the bite! <laughs> do the bite! <laughs> so a common method people use to dispatch an octopus is simply biting down between its eyes. And it's definitely not the most pleasant thing to do, but it does do the job. So there goes my mask and GoPro. So we're back at camp now. There are absolutely mosquitoes everywhere. We've got Juliet and, okay. and Daniel hiding in there. <laughs> and we're gonna prep the craze and the, the Ockies and maybe a couple abs for dinner tonight. So let's do this. Whew. Mosquitoes. Oh, here we go. There's one. Do you like eating this part, Martin? Yeah. You do? I love it. Ooh, no mercy. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's up to you if you want to clean that one because it is a bit bigger. Nah, we'll do. We'll go Filipino style today. Filipino. Do you know any Filo words? Nah. No. Yes, you do. Like <laughs> matata. <laughs> you know what that means? Oh man, it's from Dodo, right? Yeah. Like <laughs> matata. Normally, normally. <laughs> Echo slam by Java. Like <laughs> matata. Normally, normally. Echo slam by Java. Oh man. I think I reckon we should let that cook by itself because it'll take a while. Beautiful. Oh, we got. Yeah. Oh. Martin didn't want to. <laughs> that was good though. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. And what's for the main course? Davy Jones. Wait, this, this this is this is Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Oh, it's all wrapped up in the cray. Ah. Davy Jones. Oh. Life is cruel. <laughs> I mean, you need something with a bit more service area. This is how you tenderize an octopus. Look at that teamwork. <laughs> Whose cup's that? <laughs> no, not Crazy dumb. Of course, gonna have a taste test. Like Look at the, that. Yeah, there is. Cool. Oh, the octopus, yeah? Oh, 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 oh. oh that's hot. Ah. You got it? Here we go, ready? Alright, I'm giving the octopus. Guys, I'm the octopus, but you can just put it out. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> it still tastes like the best thing in the world. Oh. <sighs> mm. oh, ma'am. Oh, man. It's making me work for it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh. Mm, so good. Is it better than the steak? The, uh, it's better than the steak. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How would you describe crayfish someone has never had it before? It's like a nice warm apple pie. <laughs> I don't think that's the best, the best analogy, but what is this? Are we going to cook it like that? Yeah, but I, I, <laughs> I need to... I'm burning my little... Mm. All right, here we go. <sighs> um, oh, wow. That's not chewy at all. Nice. Well done, babe. Compared to last time, remember it was like bubble gum? Yeah, it was. We got this is like soft. I think I spat it out last time. 
Mm. Up. This is soft. Like you, you just oh wow. It's good, isn't it? I rate it, yeah. I feel like it's because it was on the fire longer as well. Mm -hmm. 